We've done alright with this place. Keeps us ticking over. You'd have done better with a loft. That's history. There's no point looking back. Dad left June money. That Claire had no right to it. Yeah, and neither did Philippe. <sighs> We're a right pair, aren't we? <laughs> Falling for the wrong people. Yeah, sit that in charge, will ya? You really think he'll come after you? I wouldn't put it past him. And that wig's gonna fool him, is it? You draw even more attention to yourself dressed like that. Maybe. And besides, I miss being blonde. I'm not lying about who you are, you know. Especially not to Steph. What happened there, anyway? No. Guess we had trust issues. Come on, you're dead honourable, are you? No, it was me not trusting her. You fellas? I'd say it was exactly like that. It's just, it's just me being daft. Mm. Sounds like you're better off without her. You don't even know her. I don't think I want to. Any girl that hurts my little brother is no friend of mine. <sighs> I don't want to explain. Oh, I thought you said they'd done it up in here. Looks like an 80s ski lodge. Ooh. You know, you're a single male now. You can date as many girls as you want to. No. Oh, God, no, no. Steph, this is Cindy, my sister. Max! You remember? All right. Hi. There you go. I want to go back to Spain. Babes, we can't. You know I've fallen out with Philippe. Did you took his money? Holly, it was the other way around. I heard you arguing. Never mind what you heard. If anyone asked, he was nasty and he gave me bruises. Bruises? Hmm. But still, let me do the talking. Why do I always have to lie? But Uncle Matt's feels sorry for us, then we can stay as long as we want. Besides, it's a soft day, and I don't want people taking advantage of it. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I pressed the green button. Ah, you fine. It's technical stuff, then. Tell him I called. Maria, I'm serious. If he finds out where I am, he'll come after me. <gasps> you okay? That was Maria, a mate in Spain. Philippe's been threatening her, trying to find out where we are. I'm so scared he'll come after us. <laughs> he won't. I'm going to go. You're not going to stay for your tea? You're busy. I'll call you tomorrow then, yeah? Holly flushed Tom's Max mission down the loop. <laughs> She's definitely got your sense of humour. Hey, there's a bit of drama at Il Nosh. That team had to be wheeled out. Yeah, she all right? Mm, I'll find out soon enough. I start work there tomorrow. You got the job? Yeah, it's only a trial. I doubt it'll work out, though. That Jackie doesn't like me. And besides, there's so much more I could do around here. Tom and I are fine. Yeah, but I could sort this place out. Get the kids to school, get the shopping in. It's all right. Yeah, well, that means that you're at work all day, paying off the mortgage and then just coming home to more chores. I don't mind. And me and Tom haven't got a mortgage or any debts. Oh, that's amazing. You've got a secure future, Max. You should protect that. Yeah, I suppose. I was thinking maybe I should phone Steph, you know, see how she is. Do you think that's a good idea? Well, she seemed really pleased to see me earlier on. But you don't want to look desperate, do you? Hello, this is Reeves & Co. We had a message to give a valuation of your business to Miss Stephanie Dean, your fiancé. I just wanted to check that that was OK with you, Mr Cunningham. Please contact me at the office. Oh, Max. I can't believe this is happening to you again. Hey? It sounds like she's trying to find out how much you're worth. What? Oh, why can't men do two things at the same time? Listen! Hello, this is Reeves & Co. We had a message to give a valuation of your business to Miss Stephanie Dean, your fiancé. Oh, Max. I can't believe this is happening to you again. It must be a mistake. I hope so. For Tom's sake, as much as yours. Oh, Max. 